Hi everyone, it's Phil here again from Ashland Leather and I'm really excited to show you a brand new wallet. This is the Vic Snap Wallet we're gonna take a look at today as well as some private stock versions to help us launch this brand new style. So I have 20 different leathers and colors available. If you've been following us for a bit, you might have seen this style before. This is something we were calling the coin pouch before, but we're now making an official model and calling it the Vic Snap Wallet. And the Vic Snap Wallet is a very simple yet functional design. You can fit a lot of stuff inside of here. The main function that we were going for was to hold coins on the inside. We actually had a lot of Japanese customers that were requesting this design as a coin pouch. In addition to holding coins, we designed this also a little bit larger than we originally did. And we made it so we could hold some cash and cards on the inside. So right here I have five cards and seven bills. You can see it's pretty easy to load it up once you fold those bills in half. And at the current moment, I have five credit cards in here and seven bills. So here's what that looks like loaded up. You just snap it closed. I find this to be really functional as a front pocket wallet. And to launch the Vic Snap Wallet, we're going to offer eight different colors that you can see on the left side of the table here. These are all going to be 10% off as a pre-order. And I should say that many of these we've already prepared in advance. So some stuff will ship out right away but others you might expect to wait about four weeks to get one. And let's start off first here with an amazing piece of leather. This is our most popular leather and color. This is the Horween Dublin leather in an English tan color. And this particular piece of English tan is a little bit more yellow and a little bit lighter than most of the English tan Dublin I see. And let's continue with another piece of Dublin leather here. This is a brand new color that we're offering in the Dublin. This is color number eight Dublin. And it's, it's actually really surprising how hard it is for me to properly capture how nice this color is on the camera. I noticed in the photos and videos, it, it looks a little bit browner and darker. If you look closely where the leather folds, you can see a lot of that color being revealed sort of on this edge. It's much more of like a burnt cherry, like a dark cherry color as the undertones. And the surface is a little bit more of a dark brown. One more non-shell cordovan option before we get to uh, five different shell colors there. This is an incredible piece of natural chromex. I'll take a look at how nicely polished that grain is. It's got a really nice sheen to it. And the natural chromex cell color, this is actually the most popular chromex cell color that Horween Leather makes. Now let's stick with natural here. This is our first piece of shell cordovan. This is the natural shell cordovan. And I expect these to be very popular. Uh, when we did the passport pre-order, I think these were the first to sell out. But for this round, I'm offering a couple additional natural shell cordovan pieces just because of how popular they were in the last run. And here's the classic color number eight shell cordovan. It's that dark brown burgundy shade. Let's do a nice little comparison with the shell cordovan color eight on the left and the Dublin on the right. You can see the Dublin is slightly lighter, a little bit more red tones to it, but this is definitely a dark brown burgundy shade and it's a classic for a reason. It's absolutely beautiful. One more classic shell cordovan color to show you. This is the black shell cordovan. And I think the black shells are the most underrated colors of shell cordovan. Uh, there's something magical just about how the light hits this. It just has like a really sleek sort of futuristic look. And one more reverse shell cordovan piece here. This is a really interesting piece of a reverse color eight shell cordovan. And you can see these random die marks on the reverse color eight here. Totally special. But each piece of the reverse color eight is gonna be a little bit different as well as the Horween ink stamp. We do try to cut in the most interesting pieces and we try to include the Horween ink stamp whenever we can. And to help us launch this brand new wallet style, we've got 12 different private stock options to look at and I wanted to include one of my all time favorite leathers. And this is a little bit bittersweet because the tannery is not able to make this particular leather ever again. I actually went over there yesterday because I was so excited about this wallet. Uh, to ask Skip if he could make me something similar again, but it's just a really beautiful uh, piece here. So the leather, this is actually a leather called Glazed Whaler, and the color is called blue. It's a really awesome aqua blue. I think what makes this even more interesting is the texture here. And this is actually a shrunken shoulder of a, a steer hide, and you get this natural uh, pebble from shrinking that shoulder and it's it's remarkable. And the valleys of this texture, it's a little bit more aqua blue, a, a little bit lighter in color. And then the sort of peaks of this texture is much darker. So that depth of color I find to be really remarkable. The other thing about the glazed whaler here, it just has a really great feel to it. It sort of feels uh, the same way that Dublin feels, a little bit of a waxy texture to it. And by applying the wax to the grain here, you get a little bit extra luster. Here's another private sock Vic snap wallet. And this 
this is in one of my new favorite colors. It's a variation on my favorite shell cordovan color, the amaretto shell. This is the raw amaretto. And the particular pieces of raw amaretto that we've been cutting from recently are a little bit lighter. The color almost encroaches slightly more towards the natural, but there's a little bit more oranginess and tan to the raw amaretto shell cordovan. If you love patina, I can't suggest the raw shell cordovan enough, and the raw amaretto is light enough to where you'll get a very dramatic patina. Here's another great Vic to show you. Check this guy out. It might not look super crazy at first because it is a black latigo on the on the front and on the back but if you look at the edges here check that out this is a leather called black on red visage latigo and the way that the tannery produces this they drum dye the leather red so it strikes the leather through all the way red and then they finish a heavy finish system over the top in a black color. So you get this really cool color contrast on the black on red visage. We only have one of these available. And I have three different shell cordovan pieces in a lizard texture. Check this out. This is garnet lizard shell cordovan. And the garnet shell cordovan is the most red color that Horween leather makes. And I think when you press any texture on the shell cordovan, the color actually gets a little bit lighter. So this is about the lightest red color that you'll see from Horween. Here's another lizard texture on the shell cordovan. This is the violet shell cordovan. It's a little bit different than the ultraviolet that we've been seeing over the last few years. This is a relatively new color option from Horween. Definitely more of a purple vibe here, less red than the ultraviolet shell cordovan. And again, with that texture, we get a lot of vibrance. And one last lizard texture to show you, this is the craziest one of all. This is marbled black shell cordovan with a lizard texture. And there's three of these and they're all going to be a little bit different. They're very similar, but you get this great color contrast from sort of an orangey tan shade on the lighter color range. You can see on this side and it sort of fades to a little bit more of a greenish color. And then that color range with the texture on top, I think is extra cool. And we have one psychedelic shell cordovan piece to show you. This is the violet psychedelic shell cordovan. And I really like this one. I noticed I was having a hard time capturing how incredible the color range is on this guy in the photos, but hopefully you can see it on the video here. It has a really great range from that purple violet shade to a green to an orangey tan and all of those colors in between. This is a really cool piece. There's only one of these. And we showed you the brand new color number eight Dublin leather. And this is a blast from the past. This is something we did as a special order a bunch of years ago. This is scotch green texture on the color eight Dublin. So if you love the scotch green texture and you love the Dublin, this is a great unique piece. There's only one of these available. And I have another Dublin piece here. I think this is gonna be a, a favorite of a lot of people. This is the cobalt blue Dublin. And the cobalt blue Dublin that we made for these is a nice aqua blue shade on the undertones. You might be able to see where the leather flexes. This is the pull-up effect where we reveal a little bit of the lighter undertones of the leather by mobilizing the wax that has been finished onto the surface. So you get this great color depth of the aqua blue undertones and then a little bit more of like a navy blue surface color. And the combination of those two colors together is really remarkable. We have a few of these cobalt blue Dublin. Uh, I think we have about seven of them. Here's another rare shell cordovan color to show you. This is dark green shell cordovan. And this one is really interesting. In, in certain angles, in certain lighting scenarios, the dark green almost looks black. And that's why we sort of moved away from the dark green. We're starting to make more stuff in the emerald green color these days because it definitely reads more as a true green where the dark green is a little bit black. Like I said, if I put it up next to something that's actually black, like I have another one here, you can definitely see it's, it's green <laughs> where the black shells obviously black, but it's a little bit too subtle um, for a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people do like a very dark color. We have people that still come in asking us for very dark blues and very dark green. So this is a great option for you. And I wanted to save the craziest for last. This is the skip finish shell cordovan, and I'm going to call it skip color eight. Uh, but he hand finished some trials because he wanted to see how it would look in some products. So a few weeks ago, we offered some special private stock wallets in this skip finish shell, and it seemed like people really enjoyed it. And I appreciate you guys leaving your feedback about these different finishes because I went over to the tannery this week and mentioned how much people love this look. And Skip's excited now, and he's got a bunch of new ideas for different finish concepts that he's going to be trying based on your feedback. So I really appreciate you guys giving us feedback on these different looks, these new concepts that Skip's coming up with. And it's a really special moment because we're able to get this sort of immediate feedback that the tannery has never really seen 
in their 100 plus year existence. A lot of the times the product cycle for the tannery is a few years. So it's really special for them to be able to get feedback within just a few days. So here it is, Skip Special Finish Wallet. We've got, I think we have two of these available. So if you're into one of these, I, I wouldn't sit on that one. So thanks for checking out everything in the video today. I'm gonna go back to this guy here, the first wallet we started with, the English Hand Dublin. I think this is gonna be a hit. If you have any questions about this brand new Vic Snap Wallet, definitely leave a comment, let me know. Or you can send me an email to phil at ashlandleather.com. Everything that you saw in the video here is available on the website right now at ashlandleather.com. And again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. All right, hope you have a great day and take care.